your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. It's another edition of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And as usual, I got a very, very special guest for y'all today. A lot of people be saying, put the ingredients in there. Well, how much it is and how much it is? Buy the goddamn cookbook. What do I look like, a Chrissy? For y'all don't know what a Chrissy is, a Chrissy is a fool, a sugar daddy. Somebody that just get used for everything. So right now, what I'm cooking today is gonna be some lobster pasta. Yeah, not roster pasta, cause I cooked that before. For y'all who ain't got a real set of cooking utensils, this is a kitchen pair of kitchen shears. And if you use these properly, it's easy to get all that lobster meat right up out of that goddamn shell. You see that? One that easy. Now, it's a lot of a lot of cruel things been going on across the world. I'm asking for y'all to, you know, raise your kids better. Get your little babies. Cause if I was a judge, all the shit your kids do, you can go to jail for it. Y'all talking about what your kids don't do or don't touch my kids and your teacher don't like your kids. I don't like they little bad ass either if they disrespectful. It, it, parenting really starts at home. Ain't nothing I could do to hurt your kids that you ain't already have done by sheltering them, by making up excuses for a little kid. Teachers don't make enough money to have to deal with your disrespectful little kids. So I'm going to ask y'all parents, just if you want to make the streets in the world better, you have to start at home. It start for the master bedroom. Your kid is supposed to fear you, the police, and God. Whenever you get to the point where they talk back to you, certain things that they don't eat, certain things that they won't do, if you got to award them for making good grades, that's just, like, that's just like these silly women going around saying, oh, I got the best baby dad in the world. He do everything for my kids. He buy her clothes. He, he take her to get her hair done. He take her to school. That's the shit he supposed to do. I refuse to reward somebody for something that they supposed to do any damn way. Especially kids. So as you see right now, as I continue to cut open these lobsters, you know that these lobsters are very clean. Florida lobsters. For all y'all boys who don't understand, Florida has the best seafood in the world. And shout out to my Jacksonville people. But I won't eat no lobster out of that coffee looking at beat y'all got. Y'all got to clean that water up down there in Jacksonville. Jacksonville is one of my favorite places to go in the world. But I just can't eat no lobster out of that coffee or uh, lake, ocean, whatever that shit is. I ain't going to be able to do it. And just to, you know, to put you up on game, the difference between the Maine lobster and the Florida lobster is Florida lobsters do not have claws. They have tentacles. They do, they do not have claws and they lack all the shit and doo-doo that the main lobster got. You see how clean and fresh that lobster is? That's a Florida lobster. We eat our women just like we eat our seafood in Florida. Now, I'm gonna continue cutting these lobsters open. Put my, when my water go to boil a little better, put my little uh, linguine. Look, I almost couldn't say that shit. Put my linguine pasta in that pot. And I'll be right back. Stay tuned. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. Hit that subscribe button. If you ever in Miami, make sure you go to Sunday's Eatery. We got the best food in town. And remember, bitch, I got my pots. I got my pots. 
I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies, Bitch, I Got My Pots. Young Thug has been in the rap game for nearly a decade now, and he has at least one platinum album and is also featured on the now diamond record Havana with singer Camila Cabello. Diamond means 10 times platinum or has sold over 10 million records. But you all know like how I always say, unlike back in the day, artists sell more singles than full bodies of work. With that being said, here are the top five highest selling Gun Thug solo singles of all time in the United States. Number five, Digits released March 25th, 2016. It went two times multi-platinum on April 16th, 2021. And a lot of people still think that he says horses don't stop, they keep going. <laughs> Number four, Relationship Featuring Future. It was released on June 16, 2017, and it went two times multi-platinum on July 30th, 2019. And Future has been singing about toxic behavior for a long time. In the song he sings, I'm in a relationship with all my bitches, yeah. I need to cut some of them off, I need help. And he's right, he does, <laughs> but whatever. Number three, Pick Up The Phone. Pick up the phone, baby, mm. I know you're home, baby, <laughs> with Travis Scott. It was released on June 3rd, 2016, and it went two times multi-platinum on May 22nd, 2017. Number two, Go Crazy with Chris Brown. This song was released May 5th, 2020, and it went three times multi-platinum on October 1st, 2021. And this song was featured on Chris Brown and Young Thug's joint album, Slime and Beat. Although it had a slow start, it quickly went to number one on the hip hop and R&B charts and peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot 100. Number one, The London featuring J. Cole and Travis Scott. This song was released on May 23rd, 2019, and it went three times multi-platinum on June 29, 2020. And this iconic song deserves its placement because in 2019, it was everywhere for weeks. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on individual song sales in the United States. Facts. Courtesy of the RIAA. And my favorite song by Thugger is Thief in the Night. What's yours? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this has been another Top 5 on Trick Daddies. Bitch, I got my pot. I got my pot. Welcome back, people. Another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pot. Today I'm cooking... Lobster pasta, not roster pasta, lobster pasta. It's the closest thing you can get to eat mermaid in the state of Florida, okay? These are my linguine news. A lot of people like to leave them long, they look all pretty. I'm not into that. I need to cut them in half, I need to, I don't eat with no goddamn chopsticks. So I need to be able to grab this with a spoon or a fork or my hand if necessary. So the main thing is put a little salt and a little oil in your water so your noodles don't stick together or don't stick to the bottom of the pan. And I break my noodles in half. And y'all notice that I keep my countertop and my stove clean at all times. So when y'all see me grab some shit off the stove, or the counter and throw it in the pot, eat it. Don't say shit to me. Your mama do worse than that. Your mama do worse than that. A lot of people like to try, buy a lot of uh, fancy things to cook with. A lot of people buy fancy microwave, fancy ovens. The fancy ovens don't work good. I, at my house, I did some of the most craziest idiotic things I ever did in my life. I bought a touch cooktop. I'm gonna tell you right now, don't waste your money or your time with that bullshit. Cause every time I go and wipe the stove off, it goes off. If I move the pot, it goes off. That's a waste of time. I prefer fire, but gas stoves are something that's becoming, you know what I'm saying, very, very played out when it comes to the to home cooking. So I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper mix in, in my pasta. And while I'm waiting, while I'm waiting, it's a perfect time for me to cut up, cut up my vegetables. Now I told y'all at home, when we first started doing the cooking show, I damn near cut off all my fingers. You can go on Amazon, you can Google, 
They got gloves like this that protect you from cutting off any of your fingers with a knife. Especially when you're dealing with sharp knives. See that shit on old Phil? Now that was phony. That was phony as hell. When I'm dealing with my pasta, I like my colors. I like my colors. That's why I use all the colors of peppers. Now, CO ain't get my green peppers, but I guess he he, he forgot that the, the, the main bell pepper was a green pepper. I got green peppers, bell peppers. Let's see. That bitch so old. <laughs> if I put, I'd be a damn fool if I put this in my pasta. I'ma go, I'ma work with what I got. And I suggest y'all do not ever try to get sporty and show out with that knife. Something that I don't play with. Knives, guns, and water. People, people always ask, you know, I don't take showers for y'all who don't know. I take baths. So people always ask me, you you run bath water every time you bathe? And bathe is a word. Bathe. If you ain't never heard of the word bathe, ask your grandma or your auntie that's from South Carolina, Mississippi, Florida, and they'll tell you what bathe is. To bathe is to properly wash your ass. And the reason why I, the, my, my main reason why I take sit down baths is because I was incarcerated at a young age and there's all type of weird things go on in them showers. And, you know, and I, anytime it's dangerous to take a shower without I have it on shower slides, then you know you don't really need to be in there. There's all type of churn be on the floor. So, and I, I got real comfortable taking baths ever since I've been out. But another reason is, and I ain't scared to say it, I can't swim. So I like to get in my big bathtub and pretend I'm swimming. I remember one time I was just skiing with me and one of my homegirls, and I kept telling her, stop leaning to the side, stop, 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 stop leaning to the side, you're gonna flip us over. And she flipped us over. And, and, and she was laughing. And, the, the, and the, the key came out, the jet ski, so it stopped, but the jet ski was just floating away, and she was laughing. And I was being quiet, and she was like, why are you always so serious? And she didn't realize that I was terrified. I had a stroke, a seizure, and a, and a baby heart attack out there in the middle of that goddamn ocean. So one of our other homeboys saw us, and he pulled up on the jet ski to come rescue us. And it was me and her. And he came to me and I got on back of the jet ski and I was like, let's go. We left our ass right out there. That was the most scariest moment of my damn life. And she right here playing. Jet skis, dirt bikes, motorcycles in Florida, those are easy ways to lose your life. I don't play on them. I don't suggest that y'all play on them. When I come back, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut my lobster up, I'm gonna finish my linguine, I'm gonna make sure my guest is ready now, and we gonna come back out and I'm gonna show y'all who I got here today for y'all. Y'all keep it locked right here. This is another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pot. I got my pot. Yo, welcome back. It's another edition of Bitch, I Got My Pot. Y'all know I changed gloves, right? Cause, them peppers, 
or something else. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna cut the lobster up. Wait for my guests to get here. I swear to God, I never seen nobody as late as my guests. And I know, I'm not gonna cut the lobster up. It's two small pieces. I don't want the lobster to get caught up in the sauce. For all y'all new air rappers, y'all got everything saucy. I even seen the um the dude with the eyelashes in the beard talking about his name saucy. How the hell you gonna have eyelashes and a goatee, boy? Got my lobster cut up real good. Got my lobster cut up real good. Trying to check on my, my, my pasta. Hey, shout out to all the trolls out there. Shout out to all the people on the internet that just troll people. Shout out to y'all, man. I can't be trolled. But shout out to y'all, you know, for the... For, you know, for the effort you put in. I can't be trolled. I'm not a troll. I don't assassinate people's characters on purpose. If I don't like you, I don't like you. If I don't like what you do, I don't like what you do. If I'm not a fan of yours, I'm just not a fan of yours. But that doesn't give me right to say negative things about you. So y'all should learn from a real G in the game and, and, and just get your hot dog stand and get you some business and stay out of other people's damn business. If you don't like something, you don't say nothing about it. You don't bring no attention to it. I'm tired of black folks bringing other black folk down. Find you something else to do. That's just like two scrippers in a script club fighting over me and calling me their customer. I'm not your fucking customer, yo. I'm a patriot. I come to patronize you, and you hoes need to get along because y'all are co-workers. Y'all got to work in this environment together. Y'all stay in the same dressing room. Y'all got the same house mom, the same DJs on the same stage, and y'all splitting the same ones that I'm getting from your manager. Calm down. We gonna add. A half a stick of butter. A whole half a stick of butter and a whole half a stick of margarine. And we're gonna leave half, just a little bit of water in there. Cause we don't wanna, we don't want the, the noodles to stop doing, getting hard or dry or losing their texture. My next move right now would be to get me a little, a little uh, olive oil. Add me a little olive oil on the same pan. Is, is, is that olive oil? Get what I'm gonna do. Put me some minced garlic. Little garlic powder. Some Italian seasoning. Italian, I said it. Salt and peppers here. Uh, 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 uh. Fresh parsley. Put all this together. That's that's also our Italian season of a different nature. We're gonna put all that together. Also, we're adding the eighth of butter. Eight the margarine in here. The number one secret tool of all time. Sunday seasoning. Shit go on everything. It go on everything but your girl. You put it on your girl, she get a bad yeast infection. I can't be responsible for it. I'll tell you right now. you add all that, guess what? I'm going to put my peppers in. And I like my peppers crunchy. With that being said, they will not be in here long. Couple fresh pieces of parsley. Some fresh parsley, you know. 
You gotta be careful because people like to sprinkle this on top of shit and call it garnishing. That's playing. Don't play over my food. I don't use nothing for garnishing. Everything for flavor. Everything is serving its own purpose. Keep this stove right where it's at. I got that heavy cream, you just gonna put the topping on it. I got that heavy cream, it's gonna make it do what it do. Bless you, whoever that was sneezed. That was ghetto than a motherfucker. I got that heavy cream, it's gonna make that thing do what it do. I got that heavy cream, gonna make it do what it do, baby. Now, if you at home, and you want to use your own version of Alfredo sauce or any other type of uh, sauce, then that's cool with you. But it's not going to taste like this. I'll tell you right now, add some more Italian seasoning to it. A little more garlic. Oh, yeah, and get, get it cracking. Pinch of salt and pepper. That secret motherfucking recipe. Sunday seasoning. Goes on everything but the girl. Now, you don't need this to cook long. I turn that on low while I continue to cut up my lobster in chunks. As I cut my lobsters up in chunks, I transfer them right straight to the pot. I transfer it right straight to the pot. I want to see the lobster. Y'all see that lobster meat? Don't never get no Florida lobster confused with no Maine lobster. It don't look like that, it don't taste like that. Y'all smell that? Oh yeah, it's about to go to hell. What you thought it was a game? What kind of show you thought this was? Ho ho ho! It's about to go down now, baby. It's about to go down now, Jack. I don't know how many of y'all know Martha Stewart, but you call up and ask her, why the hell you ain't had Trick on your show yet? Good as that boy cooking. Somebody call Martha up and ask her, why I haven't been on that show yet? So I can show her some real food. And I'm sure me and Martha Stewart had a lot in common, cause she did prison time and I did prison time. So we could talk about goulash. I know you know how to make a goulash, Martha. Well, invite me to your show. Let me let me take him to the hood. I got my pots. Welcome back to another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. And the day I told y'all we'll be making, we making lobster pasta. I've been waiting on my special guest for the day. Finally, she made it. If y'all know her, y'all should have known she was gonna be an hour and a half fucking late. Be late everywhere she go. Wow. Fucking y'all give it up one time for the Diamond Princess, Miami's own, the baddest bitch, Miss KK Trina Taylor is in this motherfucker. That is me. What's up, baby? Hello. What are we making? I'm making lobster pasta. I for told you. you to make fish. And then you know what? You know why they make fish? Let me tell you why they make fish. Cause we playing, the Heat is playing Philly in the playoffs. Okay. And that nigga with the beard is on there. And I know him and them other clowns, you give you anything you want. You're not getting that today. You're not getting anything oh. you want today. Okay. Not not today. Okay. I'm gonna give you something that's gonna be real, real good. Okay. okay. 
I got some fresh lobster pasta. I got a couple of cases of these lobsters if you want to come by the house and I get do. you a case. Okay. How did you prepare it? I need to learn how to make that. Okay, so. Ain't you engaged? You gonna have to, your fiance is gonna have to. Stop. You know I cook every day, all the time. All the fish you give me, all this, don't do that. Oh, okay. So don't do so that. So he don't cook at all? Oh, he can't. Oh, my God. You better find your house and eat. I could teach him how to cook. He talking about <laughs> teaching me how to dress. He want to teach me how to wear the weirdo clothes. No. Don't that thing smell good? That sounds delicious. So what did you do? How did you make it? You put the lobster in already? Okay, yes. Okay, so what I did was I took 10 lobsters. Okay. I boiled them, took them out of the shell, cut them up, chopped them up, add my peppers, I add my um, heavy whipping cream, mm -hmm. Italian sauce, of course, Sunday seasoning, mm -hmm. some garlic, I add some butter and margarine in here. Okay. I add the peppers without the green peppers because mm -hmm. CO forgot to get the green ones, but I got okay. the yellow orange okay. and the um, mm, that looks red good. peppers. I got that in there. I got something special for you too. Okay. I'm waiting for this uh, grease to get a little hotter. So what's been going on? How how have the tour? And I I, I want that man number who did that tour. The big dude, uh -huh. I talked to his daughter and I didn't like the, the explanation she gave me. Of what? Why I wasn't on that fucking tour. I asked that a couple times, why weren't you on the tour? I don't get it, you know what it is? A lot of people be thinking, oh, I don't get along with Rose, mm -hmm. or I don't get along with Plies, or I don't get along with certain people. I get along with every fucking body. And if I didn't, that ain't supposed to stop my money. Right. Like, if, 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 if men don't know how to get together and get some money, then they don't need no money. But I don't, I don't believe. I, don't, I hope they bringing that shit back because I need though. to be on that tour. Okay. We need to talk about that then. Let's figure that out. But the tour has been good. It's been really good, you know, because I'm the only girl, so that makes it good for me yeah. to show up and show out, you know? They told me you killed it in Tampa. Tampa was great. They say you got a standing ovation. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Tampa was good. Like, like always. Tampa was good, yeah. Thank you. And, and what's surprising about this, I, 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 and no disrespect to, I noticed that your entourage has trimmed down tremendously. Mm -hmm. You don't got that, that heavy <laughs> load that you used to have all the time. Mm -hmm. It's selected. <laughs> it's a little bit less access to get to me. So it's like, you know, you got to be moving and shaking. If you're not moving and shaking and helping, you're in the way. So we eliminate the all, you know, those that are in the way. We're going to get rid of them. So we're going to constantly push those that's making the movement. That's before. smart. What yeah. I have here, I have that? stuffed shrimp. Mm, stuffed shrimp. You putting that in the pasta or that's separate? That's separate. Okay. This is like an appetizer. What do you mean stuffed? You stuffed it? The shrimp is stuffed. Uh -huh. And I want you to taste it first. I don't want I don't want to tell you what it's stuffed with. Okay. I think it's the best shrimp I ever tasted in my life. But what is it stuffed with, though? It's stuff. It's yep. not. It's not weird. Okay. No mushrooms. No mushrooms. Okay. Perfect. Not, not, not weird. Okay. It, it, it shit tastes better than joy. I tell my no. This the best shit I ever ate in my life. Speaking, speaking of joy, <laughs> I, you went far with the taste better than joy. But okay, so joy tastes. This shrimp tastes better than joy. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Joey was like a shrimp, but okay. So speaking of Joey, Joey. like a mermaid. You know, that's my favorite food, that mermaid. Have you spoke to her? She don't speak to me. You blame her? I, I what the fuck I did? Uh, one, Mr. Eat a Booty Game. That's your personal preference. And I think you didn't make it, I think you didn't make it feasible for people to not attack her with the Eat a Booty Gang. They want to know, is Joy the one that's the first member of... I, I, listen. And it was bad. People was like writing on Instagram and like, Joy, you want some explanation? We want to know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you know Are what? you eating the booty, the cheeks? Like, it went... The, the, the it thing is, she got to stop being so sensitive. Mm -hmm. They talked about Jesus, right? And I don't kiss and tell. Ain't no way I get ate and tell. I never tell them that <laughs> whether she ate me out or not. I would never do that. You know what? So, but you have to come sometimes preserve some of the things you say when it's referring to her in the middle because, hello, it's a little abrasive. And maybe you know she's I, sensitive. She's not like you. Maybe if I talk to her, 
You Maybe if we talk. were friends. I thought we could have been friends. Y'all was friends. I don't know where the turn went. Every Eat time we turn around, she got something else she mad about. I'm not with all that. But did you say, okay, hey, Joy, you know what? Let me just apologize if you felt a way about that whole eat booty thing. She don't speak to me. She walked right by. Because she's mad about that situation. So you have to take the initiative to be like, hey, that probably threw you off guard. You know me. I'm always be me. And this is what I do. I've been... Well, tell her for me. Okay. Tell her. But then you have to come behind me to confirm it. If she asked me... Uh, she, if, I think she got me blocked and everything. I don't... I don't listen. I, I know but when... Listen, I know when it's over. I know when it's... I, I don't have... I, you can still my be daughter, friends. me and my daughter, mom are close friends. Mm -hmm. Me and my son, mom are close friends. Mm -hmm. I think that we should be friends. We lived together, was married for a long time. Nineteen like, years. Let like, me tell you exact. Like I don't understand why we can't be friends. I think you can, but I think that you sometimes, you know, you you just say what's on. You wake up and whatever is on the dome. It That's comes the only out. thing I did. Now. No, 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 no. What else it did? You went on the Breakfast Club, uh -huh. and you said some personal business that's like not good to say about a woman. Yeah, I don't think that's like something that you just go on the Breakfast Club and you involve her. Because every see, here's the thing: every time you say something and you and you throw it out, and then she's involved, she's attacked. She feels the way. It's like. You don't say nothing. You but don't those are the same people that love her. Those are the same people that love her. This is the same woman. Her Instagram name is Joy Young. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. But she don't want you on TV nationally telling people what her personal life and well, what she why did. Well, she, why she ain't tell me that? She need to How tell me that. How is she going to tell you if y'all don't speak? She need to speak to me and say, all right. She need to say, all right. Okay, Maurice, listen. I have no problem with you. I don't want to be enemies with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had some fun times together, whatever, whatever. But could you not do this? Could you not do that? Okay, so you feel if she says this, y'all can have this conversation. You're going to be open-minded and listen uh -huh. and let her talk yeah. and, and vent her feelings. And then you can say how you feel and y'all can have a mutual relationship. You know, first of all, okay, okay, first of all, okay, now. The Eating Booty Game, I'm forever Eating Booty Game. I'm the president and CEO of Eating Booty Game. If she got a problem with that, that's her. I am never going to stop being Eating Booty Game, okay, now. And, it's, and just one for me, because, I, you know, I mute. What, what's, the Eating Booty Game is what? Like, you know, men that, that eat, eat the girl's booty and, and men that get ate out. Okay, yeah, the shrimp ready? Because I just... The shrimp almost ready. One more okay. minute. Now, when you drop these, now, when I give you a bag of these... Mm -hmm. They they well, only supposed to fry for, okay. for, for, for uh, you can put them in the air fryer, yeah. but yeah, okay. but I don't eat no air fryer shit. You don't? I just I, I don't like all this new stuff because I know in a couple years from now they're gonna say air fryers give you cancer. Everything they do, they come back later on and say you so can have cancer. Yeah. They say if you had chicken box, you got the shingles now. The hell? So, about the abortion thing? If that's what you're talking that's about? That's what we're talking about. I was heard about the abortion thing. Okay, but Look. that's not public person. That's not your personal preference to publicize that. That's a situation that happened between a man and his wife. That didn't happen between us. That happened between her and Dr. Doom. And still yet, Dr. Doom is not on social media and not on Breakfast Club talking about it. Oh, shit. So... I just feel like you don't feel like that's a little bit insensitive. Just like a little I, I, like a look. Think of her. You you not having a n nothing abortion, are you know? I'm you having this. It. Okay, so for some for you to say that, doesn't matter if it was 40 years ago, it's still invasive and it's like her it's a personal thing. You know what you know why it hurt women. me? You know what hurt me? Can I start eating on you? Every, hold on, I, okay. I don't want you to get burnt. I don't want to I don't want it to burn you. You need to let it cool down mm -hmm. just a little bit. I feel like you have but to this... apologize for that, no matter what. Well, Joy, if you're watching right now... No, 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 no. Okay, go ahead. Now, to, to the, if to you're the watching world. right now, I, I apologize mm -hmm. for bringing up the fact that you got rid of your baby. No, that's not how you say it. I apologize to the, to the fact that, that I said something about abortions. But it, it, it confused me because when you're married to somebody and you get pregnant, you're supposed to have a child, especially when there's other kids that were taken care of at the time. Mm -hmm. 
But it wasn't. That wasn't the case. That was not the case. That's why. That's Just why I was younger mad. Younger and unsure and not understanding what's really going on. So that's why I got mad. I, I figured it was another reason why she had an abortion. No, 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 no. It's a woman's personal feeling and choice of what they're thinking. When you're young, sometimes you're not thinking fully straight. I'm sure she's not thinking now, years later, back then. It was a very, very sensitive decision. And it's not for you to start talking about it. Well, and you, you might have, have to have apologize point. about it. I, I, well, my seal, she don't even speak to me, yo. I mean, hello, I would not speak to you either. But she wasn't speaking before I said anything about it. Be, she was speaking to you before the Eatie Booty game. I, no, she wasn't. I was being petty when I said the abortion thing. I was being petty. Oh, but okay, I was you being, being petty? Yeah, I admit I've been, but, but Eatie Booty game, that's my life. So there's no ending point for it? It's like, okay, I'm not going to just stop next no. year. Stop. Okay. Okay. So we're going to adapt and accept the EBG. That's what it's called, right? EBG for okay. life. Let's just say EBG. No pee pee, no doo doo. <laughs> so, <laughs> moving forward. I got you all. Um, Woo! Your locks are pasta yes, right ready, 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 ready. See, is you eating today, see? You Are gotta you come eat? eat with us, see. So lobster pasta. Now I'm gonna you eat this, right, see? Yeah, mm. y'all having some heavy conversations. This conversation over there. is like See, everything she don't never want to get in the middle of that. Serious. Don't, don't get in the middle of this. Because in real life form, trick, you're gonna have to tell her face to face, you know what? I I apologize. I'm terribly I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, to Joy though. Why don't you look in that camera right there and tell her right there? Which camera? Right there. Joy, I'm so sorry. I tried. Ooh. What does... Wait, Trina, before you eat. Hold up, before you eat. delicious. Before you eat, you want to hurt to make nah, a prayer real quick? Yeah, we got to pray. <laughs> she said, hurry up right quick. I'm about to eat while we praying. But you got to say the prayer. Me? You got to say the prayer. Yeah, I don't think I ever heard you pray. You okay. got to pray you ready? today. You Hold ready? on, let me, finish, let me fix mine. This is very fast. I better hurry up. Stomach is growling. Trick, you don't make this at Sundays. You need to make this. this. Not no, we Sunday. can't make this at Sundays. All Trina want is double collard greens, and we can't do this. Collard greens, okay. I just want to ask one more question. Like, if well, okay. you're cooking, I don't. What does that have to do with that word you say? Enjoy. Because we're not gonna. We're gonna throw that word away and not mention them all. Hmm. Well, abortion. Yes. Stop saying that. Oh, okay. That's like a back in the day thing. Nobody is considering or thinking of that. Not. Oh yeah, Ron DeSantis said even if you get raped, you can't have no abortion after certain weeks. He done lost his damn mind. But they're getting rid of well, Roe versus maybe Wade. If, if he got pregnant, maybe got he can probably change his mind because it's very insensitive to control what a woman does with her body. So, yeah. So, so come on. That's, are you going to apologize to Joy, though, please? I'm, I apologize to him. You will? Yeah. You going to set it up so I can sit down and talk to her? I apologize to her. And don't get in one of your I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But she, I don't want all that extra shit. I'm just going to apologize. extra shit? But I'm saying, I'm not going to be um all that, 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 that. I'm not going to cry. You need to. I cried. Well, Let you should see. probably cry it out. It's some, something still in there. Okay. Ready? Come on, let's say a prayer, y'all. Ready? Yeah. Come on, Trina. Ready? Dear Father, dear Ma, thank you for this amazing lobster pasta that we are about to endure and take into our stomach. I am so hungry. I am so grateful. Bless the food. Bless Trick Hands. Bless this whole meal that we're about to share. Also, please make sure that Trick apologizes. Feel it in his soul and his heart to really feel organic and sensitive and vulnerable to apologize to Joy because it's a very sensitive subject. Amen. 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 Okay, wait. Ooh. Try this first. Try okay. this first. Shrimp first. Try that. Okay. Double, let me get one. Here, try that. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I thought of it. I told you. I need some of these right now. I regular. told you. I Did told you. Did you stuff you. it with something? Conk. Okay, this plate is mine. You you have you want one more curry? God damn. I told you. Oh my god. What? Where's the different? Mm. Stuff comp shrimp. I got a, I got fifty of them. I gotta take some of these home to Lara. <laughs> you gotta take I some got some fish for Lara too. Take one for Joy. One, <laughs> not two. I don't want nobody getting none. Can Damn. we make a mess, please? I would just love for us all to be peaceful and happy and just. How like, you think I feel when I walk? All right, listen. 
Remember, for a long time, y'all could be in the club, but she was in the Ali. Mm -hmm. She said to me, and she was like, oh, don't do that. That made me feel bad. I stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. But now if I walk in the club and she don't speak, I might well leave. Well, because I think y'all be on a good term and then you always come back and do something that like, Corey say something, you know, that sets the tone. I don't know. They marry. I stay out of married people's business. We cool. Well, I'm involved. <laughs> I want to get uninvolved, but I'm involved. All I know is I, I used to like it the way it was when we was like family. Me too. Trick Papa Bear. Joy Mama Bear. Mm -hmm. Trina Auntie. We just so, got to get back to that. Do you feel like you should apologize? You feel like you should apologize? I'm gonna take this bottle too because mine is ran out. Um, yes. You taking the seasoning too? Yes, I need the seasoning. But too. honestly, that's such a touchy situation. It is. It's very touchy and it's very personal. And let's let's just leave it alone. Let's just not ever even revisit this space. Yeah. Let's just get past it. Let's not talk about it no more. Let's apologize. Let's move forward. And that's and keep it. Keep it moving. So Trina, what you got cooking in your kitchen? Why don't you tell everybody what you got cooking in your kitchen? A kitchen at home? In your life, what's cooking? Oh, what's popping? Like <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you mean? I'm I'm still on the tour. I got new songs coming out. I got a song out right now, Clap with Mulatto. Mulatto. Okay. Um, I'm working on these artists. I have four new artists, the girls, I'm excited about. What's the title of your sign new boys? <laughs> the industry's already male dominated. Why do I need to sign a boy? I'm signing girls, giving them a platform so they can, you know, I don't want to deal with no guys. What about your book? What's the title of your book? I haven't titled the book yet, but the book is coming out amazing. I'm super excited. Um, I want you guys to give, like, you know, y'all quotes and say, you know, what you feel about it. I talked about you all in there, all the experiences from the beginning. And y'all experiences has been some experience. Man, I hope you ain't talked about. I talked about. <laughs> yeah, I talked about. Mm -hmm. You talked uh, about. Yeah, yeah. You talking. know, everybody bought my book because they thought I was gonna talk about. It. I don't talk about it in the book. You don't? Oh well. No. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll catch, I never will. Catch this heat. A lot of times, though, I was sitting there in the van with you, waiting on them. And a lot of times, you were out the van in there doing. Well, we're not gonna talk about right now, but I'm gonna talk about it in the book. Not everything. Man, we keep going back. I can't take it. <laughs> not everything. Just some stuff, you know. It's interesting because people want to know. Good thing Dana already know you're a dog. <sighs> so nothing has to be exposed here, huh? Mm, of course. Well, y'all be anticipating the book. The book coming out real soon. Remember, if you ever in the Miami area, stop by Sunday's Eatery. We open six days a week, close on Tuesday. Don't ask me why, that's what we do. We close on fucking Tuesday. I'm the original home of fried ribs. I got Miss Miami here, Miss Trina, Diamond Princess, AKA the baddest bitch. My executive producer, CO, Corey, Dog Doc Evans. Dana, you know already. <laughs> and it's been another episode of, Bitch, I Got My Pots. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Today is what's cooking in the music business. We got that new Future album. I never did like you. I mean, the title is dope. The cover is dope. I think Future is the future. When it comes to, like, fashion and music, I mean, you know, some people think the music is the future. Me, personally, I don't know. So I went through this album. I never did like you. Oh, I never liked you. I never did like you. I like the title of that. It had some good hits on there. Like, I like uh, 7, 12 p.m. You know, that's like the intro to the album. But then, you know, after that, I'm that nigga. It's like stuff that I already heard a little bit. But you know what? One thing I can't say about Future is he's the future. So we're going to do something future. Let me add, I, I want y'all to see this right here. This is... It's yellow, right? It looked like pineapples, but this is actually watermelons. 
So this is the future. This is the future of watermelons. It's not gonna be red anymore. So this is some futuristic type stuff. So we're gonna put that in there. Futuristic. Let me see. We'll have some red for now. Cause I think he is the future, but some of his stuff sound kind of old. These right here are not peaches. These are peachy and they kind of old. So I'm gonna put these in here like, yeah, you know, some old peachy for some old school future. I know y'all like that old future. Tony Montana and all that stuff, right? But you know, he stuck true to his craft, right? He's been doing music from like the ATL. Same producers from the ATL. One thing I didn't know about Future was he was a ghostwriter for Kanye. That's like really cool. So with that being said, he did a record with Kanye, Keep It Burning. So now I had to go back and listen to a lot of Kanye records. And it was kind of cool that I didn't even know that Future was the one that was writing some of these records. So I started listening to his records a little bit different. So that's like one of the, I, I like that record. So give me some, give me some now. This is pineapple. This is not watermelon. That's for now. I like that. That was like one of the, you know, songs of today. You know, he got ESTG on the album. So we put a little, let's put a little ice in there for ESTG. Kind of icy, you know? Some of the standout tracks on the album is Voodoo. That's like one of the home teams. That's Kodak Black on there. He also did two tracks with Drake. I'm on one, which Drake had already done one. So that's why I'm like, a lot of this stuff is new, but it's also old. So how much of future is really the future? Has he come to the past? I don't know. That's for y'all to judge, but I got this nice young lady by the name of That's Jacqueline. She's gonna be the taster for today. And I want you to rate the album. Is it the future or is future come to pass? Also standout tracks is the one with uh, Drake and Tim's, which is a really dope track on there. I think that's the one I like the most. Not just cause of Drake, I just like how melodic it is. I think it's very clever. And then one more standout track for me is the Holy Ghost. I like that. But other than that, I think it was just so, so, but we are gonna see. This up. Now, mind you, I had some stuff from the past, and I had some stuff from the future in here for future. <sighs> so, taste that. Let me know what you think. It needs a little bit more flavor. Mm, a little more flavor? Let me see. A little, a little more flavor. It's all right. Three watermelons. And that's what's cooking in our kitchen. Y'all got my watch. All I want to know is this. Who is Antoine's supervisor? Cause I told this nigga don't take a picture with Jesse Larry's and I found out you took a picture with Jesse Larry's. Boy, I will, I will fuck you up, boy. I told Antoine, he's one of the producers of the show. Okay. He always take pictures with artists. So he didn't know how I feel about you. I told that nigga, if you take a picture with her nigga, it's gonna be a problem. Oh, so wow. he's not gonna take a picture with you. Okay. I'm just letting you know that right now. That's not fair. No, but life ain't fair. No. I don't, I don't believe you did that shit, Antoine. I don't believe you did that. I didn't know I took that picture. But how I know, you ask yourself how I know you took that picture. What you put it on? What you put it on, your close friends? When you called me, it wasn't even posted. So you ask yourself how I know you took that picture. <laughs> and it's not a promo. Listen, listen, my boy. Check it out. You see the way that knife stuck inside that cutting board? Yeah. <laughs> you know how deep that bitch would be in your chest? Cause listen, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, listen. Okay. You is never gonna take no more pictures with Jesse Larry, okay? I, I might let you take a picture with somebody else, but not Jess, okay? Okay, thank you. You sure? 
Hey, I, come, come a little closer uh, to this uh, knife, uh, right here. Whoa, you, are you sure, yeah, Antoine? I'm sure. Okay, sure. all right. All right I'm sure. As long as we got a clear understanding, yeah, so man. Y'all know this been my homie about 24 years. Yeah, but it ain't worth that. It ain't I, worth I, me killing you after all this time. And I, listen, like for real, though. I want for, to live. No, but listen. But well, why did you just explain it to me? You had it. You, you, you got a crush on her? No, that's your lady. So you, what you think she? You think she fine? She cute? I mean, you know, that's your lady. She's beautiful. So, you know. No, that's not my lady. But I uh, but I love her, but that's not my lady. Listen, in the future, I'll make sure I stay away from her. I'm trying to figure out, but why did you, why would you jeopardize what we got going on here with this cooking show? Antoine, you the director. Mm -hmm. Like, why, why, like, what was it about Jess that made you just Want to say, you know, say, jeopardize all this and say, I'm going to take a picture with her. I'm going to wait the bruh leave. <laughs> what is it about Jess? I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I dropped the ball, Mature. I dropped the ball. I, I, that, I, the ball I, I respect the ball. that. I respect I, that. I ain't going to drop the ball, no. I hope so, I'm man. In the background where I if you drop the ball again, that's why I'm going to pick that bitch up and score a touchdown. <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you. You're good. Okay, I just I'm, I was just curious. I'm like, maybe you think we like the same type of women? Mm -hmm. You got pictures with Joy too? Come on, God. Oh Lord. I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, how long this been going on, nah, Antoine? Nah, nah. No pictures with Joy. You got, you ain't never took a. Do you, do you think Joy is fine? No. Oh. I'm, bro, I'm, 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 we having a conversation. This be man yeah, to man. You my boy. Do you think Joy is fine? Joyce is a beautiful woman. Do, is she fine? She got a nice body? Joyce is a beautiful woman, and that's all I'm allowed to say. Do Joy have a nice body? Joyce is a beautiful woman, head and toe. Oh. Head and toe. And you ain't got no picture with her, though? Nah. nah, nah, nah. That's different. That's different. So let me ask you this. So let, let's, say, let's, say I, I, let's say I don't know Joy, yeah. right? Let's say I don't know Joy. Let's just say, uh -huh. let's just say, Joy is just the same person. Yeah. And I don't know her. Yeah. And she walked in the room. Do that sound like, do she look like something that you would be attracted to? I mean, Joy, I mean, she's a beautiful woman. Of course. I, you I keep saying the same thing, dog. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. All right, I'm not married to Joy. Okay. I'm not about ready to divorce her. I've yeah. never been married. I've never seen her a day in my life. Yeah. Me and you in here. She walk in the room. Yeah. Is there somebody that you would, you would like to get to know? In another lifetime, yes. I would like to get it. So you got it. So, so wait a minute. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So at twelve. So you saying you got? So at twelve. You saying you got a crush on? You got a crush on Joy? In another lifetime. How long you been like? No. At twelve. You been doing my videos for over twenty years. You been liking Joy the whole while? No, no. Not, not in this. In another lifetime. So you never say it like. You never say it like. Damn, boy. Who got me saying over here? No. Here, man. Here, man. She's not my sister. Here, man. I, I never do. Here, That's man. Wipe sister. that sweat off your head, man. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Yeah. What about Trina? Nah. Trina, That's not my sister. You, you like my brother? Trina, like my sister. Trina and Joy can't be your sister, they cousin, and you cannot, ain't no way you think I married my sister, oh. so you got to come up with some other shit than that. Oh. Trina, if you didn't know Trina, if you didn't know Trina, and she walked in the room, is yeah. that somebody you'll say, damn? I mean, sure. Okay. Y'all let that nigga Antoine direct y'all films and, and videos? <laughs> Plotting on your woman, I'm telling you. Now, this is the part of the show where we show y'all what we got cooking in our kitchen. I got my dog from right around the corner. That's Broward County. 319, the Wapo gang. He go by the name of Snapo Wapo. What's up? Good. Joe. So I want y'all to know something about this cat. I need y'all to look up the Felony Lane gang. Then y'all get back with me, because this is some real stuff. This is the next to blow. Let me see what you got. Let's rock out. All right. Joe, you pop me a perk right quick. I'm ready now. How the fuck you niggas stubbers? 
You ain't even got a car. What you gonna walk four blocks? Get your pussy ass pop, nigga. I got a Benz around my neck. I got my high beans on. Last wave I caught. I put my whole team on. I told your bitch to get out. Put them stink pennies back on. You need to grow the fuck up. And take that chin carrot off. Get here from a bitch 18. And we ain't going top go. Package fight, I ain't no sumo. Four bars in the two though. Hey to see me and say kudos. Little dog, you a poodle. I like body holes only. I spend a four on this roller. I spend third on another one. All the shit that I bought could have got an elephant. Tell them know that show their true colors. Thinking out loud, I know I should have did better. I get away, you need a life jacket. Here's healthy pills, I got a bad habit. My load up like a Easter basket. I'm doing fraud in Washington, you can call me Miles Gaskins. I'm doing honey at my grandma's spot. Had to tell my bitch quit calling, I'm with my bar. Stupid asshole, if it were for me, then everybody be broke. I was sleeping with the roaches, but it was fucking livable. I get to paying classes out, like I'm a fucking principal. They say I'm a snack now, I'm Scooby. I fuck them all, I'm a goofy. I'm in the mall with the woolly. I'm on perk class and lean, now I'm feeling groovy. I got superpowers. This five seven watch over me, that's my supervisor. Bitch, oh, you know a debit card? Got some blues on me, you could tell I'm doing fraud. And that's what we got cooking in our kitchen. Snap-o-wap-o. Wooly gang. <laughs>